Hey, Terry White here, and I got a tip for Lightroom Classic CC users. Lightroom does a great job of managing your photos for you. It knows where your photos are, it keeps track of them until you go do something behind Lightroom's back. And what I mean by that is your intentions are good. Maybe you want to free up some space on your hard drive. Maybe you just decided, hey, these photos would be better suited in a folder named this, so you move them. And you do all of that in the operating system behind Lightroom's back. In other words, behind the scenes. And then the next time you go to Lightroom, it's like, I don't know. I don't know where these photos are because something happened when I wasn't looking. Someone moved them on me. So you end up with folders like this with question marks because it doesn't know where it is anymore. Or you end up with images that have little exclamation points in the top left corner or right corner because it's missing. It doesn't know where it is anymore. One way to avoid this is to never have it, never cause the problem by never doing something outside of Lightroom's control. And control is a strong word, without Lightroom's knowledge. So for example, I've got a folder here um, from an event I did a couple weeks ago in Miami. D3 Expo 2018. I don't need that anymore on my main hard drive. I've got a brand new four terabyte Western Digital drive here. And this drive's never been used with Lightroom and I've never used it for anything, it's empty. It's formatted, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into the computer and show you what it looks like. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I plug the drive in, a couple seconds it'll pop up, and we can wait, 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 and nothing will ever happen. Because Lightroom doesn't look at things that it hasn't used yet. It doesn't look at drives it's never used. It doesn't look at thumb drives you plug in. It doesn't look at flash drives you plug in. It doesn't look at hard drives you plug in until you tell it to. So for example, if I were to go back out to my operating system now, and I were to see, oh yeah, there's a four terabyte red drive right there with nothing on it. So it's there, but Lightroom doesn't see it until you tell it to see it. How do you tell it to see it? I want to move these in Lightroom, this D3 Expo 2018, 37 photos to that drive. But I want to do it in Lightroom so Lightroom always knows where they are. But I can't drag it to something that doesn't exist. So I first have to add the drive. And the way you add the drive is by going up here to your folder area. There we are. I don't go ahead and twirl down. I twirled it down. <laughs> Let me twirl it back up. Go down to your folder area here, and when you're in your folders, you're gonna come all the way over to the right and click the plus sign. When you click the plus sign, you're gonna add a folder. By adding a folder, you can now go to that red drive and you can say, I wanna create a brand new folder. And you call that folder, not D3 Expo, not anything that you're trying to drag to it. You're basically gonna make this the main folder for things that you put in it going forward. So you call it pictures and videos. You can call it archive. You can call it whatever name you want that you will know, never delete, <laughs> whatever it is that you want to use as this folder name. So I'm gonna call it um, pictures and videos. All right, so now that I created that folder, notice what happened inside, oh, once I choose it and then create it, notice what happened inside of Lightroom. It now knows about a TW four terabyte red drive and more importantly, it knows that there's a folder on it called pictures and videos. In other words, you told Lightroom this drive exists and to use this folder, this empty folder from now on. So now all I have to do to move these images to it is simply pick up this D3 Expo and drag it to that new folder. Once I drop it, it's moving the folder. So it's physically moving those photos from whatever hard drive they were on to your new hard drive. Most importantly, it's managing and knowing where they are. So you'll never have any question marks. You'll never have any mysteries about where the images are as long as you do all your management here in Lightroom Classic CC. If you wanna rename the images. Uh, so for example, now I wanna rename these. Instead of APC, whatever they are, I want to, because these were all shot with my iPhone, I want to rename these um, D3 Expo 2018 dash, and of course, um, number them after that. So that way, even if I do a search and I don't remember where they are, I know it was D3 Expo, so I just type in D3 and it will find them. 
So that way, even if I'm not the most organized person in the world, I've got a couple of shots at finding my photos. I can find the folder that they're in, and I can also find the um, images by name. Now, if you really want to get organized, this is a bonus tip, then create some subfolders first, like travel, portraits, weddings, whatever it is you shoot, and then drag events, drag this one into the events folder. That way, you're now going to have the exact structure that you need for finding things quickly going forward. So that's it. Bonus tip, tip, just don't manage things outside of Lightroom because then you won't ever have to come into Lightroom and have things that are missing or have to fix it or tell it where things are. Easiest way to do it. All right. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.